What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we're playing Syndra and uh, Syndra is actually a really, really fun mid laner. It's uh, it's one of those champs that uh, probably a lot of people would consider to be one of the best duelists in her lane. Uh, this is a champion you really want to pick if you like winning your lane really hard. Because uh, she really, she's really good at that, she's really good at snowballing. But the cool thing about Syndra is that she's not only strong in her lane, She's actually both a good roamer and also a good mid and late game champion. So this champion has a really good overall, uh, yeah, scaling. She scales really, really well into uh, late game. So, Syndra is probably not a champion that I would recommend for somebody just starting out with League of Legends. Because uh, she's slightly hard, most of her spells are skill shots, actually almost all of them with the exception of her ult. Um, but all of her spells are skill shots. Uh, the cool thing about them are that they do AoE damage every single one of them, except her ult again. Um, so she can deal a heavy chunk of damage and she's really good and works well with almost any team composition. Um, so it's a really cool champion, especially for someone who's mediocre and media at the game. This is definitely a champion you should uh, consider uh, playing and getting into your roster so you know how to play it or at least know how to play against it as well. Uh, and of course, if you're new at the game, I don't want to discourage you completely from playing this champion. That's not what I'm saying. Just saying this is a slightly harder champ to play uh, than a lot of others. So stay aware of that. But with that said, let's go into the champion and uh, talk a little bit about how she works. Uh, so first of all, we have her passive. And her passive is called, I think it's called Transcendent. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but what this spell does is basically... Whoop, let's get this. Uh, what this spell does is basically that, and, and it's, it's actually something that not a lot of people know, it's very overlooked. Um, but what it does is that it, wow, is that, uh, that it empowers all of Syndra's abilities as they reach max rank. And this is actually where a common misconception comes in. I see a lot of guides, uh, a lot of people looking at Mopa Fire and other places, and a lot of people will tell you to max up your E as your second ability. And this is actually a misconception because your W is absolutely mind-blowingly good as it hits max rank. So you really want to get this one ranked up. And the reason for this is that your W actually gives you 20% bonus true damage once it hits max rank. So this is pretty freaking insane. Uh, I'm going to reroll you. It's really, really, really good. Um, so just I just wanted to say that because it's something that a lot of people do wrong is take their E. There might be situations where you rather max your E, but your W is generally going to be the thing you want to level at or max as your second ability. Next up we have, uh, yeah, we can just go through actually what it, what it does for the different spells. Your Transcendence. So your Transcendence also for your Q actually gives it a 15% damage increase on your Q ability as it hits max range and rank. And this is the ability you want to rank up max as your very first thing. Uh, whoop, let's see. You need to be a little careful. Um, and your E gets a, I think it's a 50% width uh, increase. So it makes it a lot easier, like knocking people back and getting uh, getting your stuns in. All right, so let's talk about her Q. And her Q is a, a very iconic spell. That's these dark spheres that you see on the ground. The, all this spell basically does is that uh, every time you cast it, it puts a dark sphere right where you threw it. So it's pretty simple. Oh, I don't want to take this straight. He's pretty much room though. So we might just harass him just a little bit extra. With a bit of luck, he's gonna... Okay, we're gonna be careful. Does he have Ignite? No, he has Barrier. Okay, so we need to be careful with that as well. Um, but... Whoop. Let's see if I can do so. If... Alright. Ah, that's a good try. Nice. Alright, that's gonna allow, allow us to back and then we can talk a bit about our spells. Uh, but... but um, Syndra's... 
Q is what's called Dark Sephir. And this spell is pretty cool, because what it does is it puts down this Sephir on the ground, and as it erupts, or whatever you say, like, as it's actually placed, then it, uh, it deals damage. So you say, see that there's, like, kind of a 0.5 second or something delay on the actual damage on it. Um, so this means that you kind of have to time it and cast it a bit prior. You can kind of think of it like if you're playing a shooter game with bullet drop, that's kind of what it is. Um, or tra bullet travel time, probably not bullet drop travel time um so it's it has there's a short travel time for casting this uh before it actually erupts and deal damage uh, let's get that into that one i think we're gonna get a, get a potion as well so it, it it's gonna be just a moment before it actually deals the damage you wanted to do uh you can cast multiple of these and they'll be on the ground and they actually work together with the rest of your kit uh, and we're going to talk a bit more about that your next ability is called i think it's called force of will right yeah, force of will. What this spell does is that you can pick up a Sephir, like one of the, the your cues, or you can whoop, or you can pick up a uh, minion. Doesn't matter if it's an enemy minion or a neutral minion. Uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. You can pick up any of these, and uh, when you throw it, it deals damage and it uh, it slows your target if it hits. And this is also an EOE spell. And this is the spell we talked about actually getting a 20% bonus true damage if you level this one up as your second spell. So you really, really want to go for this, despite what a lot of guides are telling you. You can look up pro builds as well if you're in doubt. Then you'll see that, uh, that the majority of all uh, pro players also choose to go for this spell. Uh, as their second max just for that reason all right so next up we have or let's see can we gank somewhere no not yet all right uh so next up we have or or e and what our e does is that it pushes people back so if there's no spheres in the ground then it just just pushes people back basically like this um, and deals a little bit of damage. It, it, the damage is not huge, but it's something. It's at least there. Um, but what you actually want to do with this thing is that if there's a Saphir on the ground and you push the Saphir, then if that Saphir uh, collides with a champion, then it actually stuns him. So that's a very, very neat thing. Let's see if we can, uh, can get one off in a moment here. Let's see if we can get... Oh. It's going to be nice. I'm gonna flash just as a safety precaution, but that is gonna be fine. We got a kill or as an assist for that matter. Very nice gank by Echo. Gonna just get this and then we're gonna back off. There we go. All right. So that's a very, very cool thing that uh, whenever you push this one, if it collides with an enemy, then it stuns him. And it actually can stun multiple enemies and with multiple balls on the ground, if that makes sense. Or Sephir's balls. <laughs> okay, bad joke. Okay, so uh, that aside, let's... Oh, we don't need that. We actually don't have one. We're going to get ourselves an extra potion just for safety. Um... But this means that if you have one bowl uh, or one sphere here and here, and you push both of them, then uh, they they're gonna spread to the to the side or in the direction they're facing from you, and it's gonna stun anything in their way. So you can have multiple of these on the ground. You can also combine the, it with your W. So you Q, pick up your sphere, reposition it, and then uh, throw it such that you stun an enemy. So that's a very very cool thing. Oh, crap. Alright, so I got miss here. I'm gonna see if I can do something about this guy. If I can buy them some time. Probably not. I don't have my ult yet. I might just go top instead, because I'm not gonna be able to do anything about this. I think I'm gonna try and roam top, see if we can uh, find something up there. There we go. I think I'm gonna start warding up this side. Okay, so that guy just used his ult, and I don't think he has any idea that I'm coming, so... Oh, dude. Oh, please be careful. Okay, I guess not. So there, we got just gonna get the stun in there. Oh my god, come on. He doesn't have his spell right now, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch him. Oh, maybe I will. There we go, thank you. Oh. 
It's right here. I don't have the angle to get my, my stun in on that guy, and I don't want to go no all in. But in 40 seconds, we have our aura ignite up again. But anyway, as we were talking about aura E, it's very, very simple. Uh, it just stuns anything it collides with or otherwise knocks things back if they're too close. So this is very good. You can actually stun a full team if they're stacked. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why Syndra works with basically anything. She has super long range. She has the... Um she has the ability to AoE, so that's also very, very nice. She can hit a lot of targets at once, and with her huge range, uh, she really becomes a threat to just about anything. So our next spell is called Unleashed Power. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty freaking cool name, not gonna lie. Uh, but it's called Unleashed Power. And what this thing does... Oh, whoa. Okay. What this thing does is that it uh, it takes any Zephyr you have... Uh, on the ground and the three you have swirling around you and it bursts the enemy with them dealing damage dependent on the me the, the amount or the number of spheres you have so it gives uh, i think it's at the end level it gives about 200 uh, plus minus depending on how much ap you have as well uh, but it gives some damage uh based on each Oh, i'm not gonna get that one uh based on uh on each uh, or how many spheres you have I think somewhat the maximum number of spheres you'll be able to get if you combine it correctly with your ult is like seven. Six or seven is six is going to be the most common number for you to hit with it, um, and uh, that's actually what you want to want to go for. So the more before you want to use your ult, you always want to try and see if you can get some extra spheres on the ground. So a good thing before bursting is uh, is put down one sphere and then maybe put down another sphere and then use your E to push it into them and then uh, put your Q and then R. So you actually have um, have extra spheres and that way you deal a lot more damage because if you just deal the damage with the three spheres you have swirling around the character then you actually don't deal that much damage with it so the, the damage really comes down to uh getting these spheres another cool thing with oh i think we're gonna start roaming down here uh with syndra is she's, she's actually also a really good roamer uh you can shuffle the lane fairly easy and roam with her i'm gonna see if i can get a kill down here Oh, I'm a little... Okay, that guy's gonna be dead. I'm just gonna be... I don't wanna use my ignite here because I don't actually need it. Um, so I'm gonna go back into my lane. And that's gonna be nice. So we are at three kills now. Uh, but Syndra is a super fun champion. There's something really cool that you guys should know. And it's also something not a lot of people uh, know. But the animation on her W is actually shorter if she's... Uh, she turns her back away. I'll try and see if I can show you. Um, but if you, whoop, if you turn away, such that the way you pick it up is reverse, so you're looking away from what you're shooting at. If that makes sense, then the animation is actually shorter than it would otherwise. Um, so if you have this one in front of you, then instead of picking up like this, the animation is pretty slow. Then you want to pick it up the other way, so you turn around and actually, yeah. Have your back against it and the reason why that works is because uh the sphere actually travels behind uh behind syndra so the travel distance in short is shorter i hope that kind of makes sense uh so next up i feel like we'll go for like a marillion's uh let's buy that one first okay so i hope that makes sense that's a little tr trick but you don't have to use it and the reason why a lot of cases you won't be able to is if you're chasing someone you don't really have the time uh to like put this one on top of them turn around pick it up and then fire it uh it's gonna be a waste of time and you're gonna slow yourself down but for just bursting purposes you can use it uh but it is pretty difficult and it's kind of like an advanced trick um anyway see if we can uh, can get this thing going so at this point let's see what did this guy build Okay, we should be able to kill him fairly easy, I think. The question being, I think we should roam instead, because they really need help. Uh, so I'm going to go down here, see if I can just finish these two off. So this guy is definitely overextending right now. And it's going to be another kill, nice. Alright, so I don't know why that guy overextended that much. The Nautilus definitely did the right thing there, just backing off. Knowing that he didn't know where I was. 
Um, but the cool thing is we changed this really well into late game. You guys can see just the amount of damage we already do. Wow, I can't believe I missed that one. Uh, it's really nice. She shuffles the lane really nice, which means you can roam. And even if you are a player that don't really like roaming that much, uh, I, I always suggest that try and see if you can roam. Um, if you can do well in your lane and can shove it, and you're playing against something where you can do this, then then roaming and helping your teammates out is probably worth more than just winning your lane. But this is a champion that you consistently can win your lane fairly easy. Oh, we need to help out with Drake here. If we can. I'm actually going to be able to kill this guy. And I'm going to go down here, make sure that we help out with the Drake and whatever happens here. Okay, nothing more is going to happen. So I think we're going to start pushing. So we have five to zero, which is really, really fine. We're doing pretty, pretty decently. Like, honestly, I haven't played this champion uh, for a while. So I'm a little, a little rusty on her, but I used also used to play this a lot. I've played the game, like I played League, yeah, a lot. <laughs> so there's a lot of champions I've, uh, I've played a lot, but this is a champion I personally really enjoy playing, and the reason for that is just she, she, there's a super high skill cap on her. You can do a lot with her. On lower ratings, uh, I like if I'm playing with some of my friends. I like going something like a Crystal Scepter. Uh, this allows me to kite a little bit easier and uh, and carry with her. But she is pretty hard to carry with because. She doesn't really push objectives that well, if that makes sense. But with that said, I don't really have any mana here, so I can't really do much. So I'm gonna have to back out. Um, but she, that's the hard part of playing, and that's uh, pretty common with a lot of mid laners, is their ability to push objectives is not that good to you. Instead, what I would suggest you do is try and play around your team, and try and help out the guys that actually are able to push objectives. Um, Let's get in that one. And is there anything else we need right here? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, so what we really want to do is try and see if we can help out our gens. Apparently FK, so that kind of sucks. Uh, it's going to make this game a lot harder. Uh, anyway, let's run up and see if we can just... These guys are going to be dead, so I'm not going to be able to do anything there. Um, and what else do we have? Or are they? Oh, they might actually win it. That's surprising. I have the option of going up there. Maybe I should. Because seeing as we're one player low, then uh, then doing anything else might be... Might not be worth... Oh, okay, nice. Malphite actually got that. We might be able to 4v5 this, to be honest. Um, I'm going to just try and push objectives, even though this is kind of what uh, Syndra's weak point is. She is uh, not a great pusher. As you guys see, the damage here is... Uh, it's gonna take a little while, but at least we've got Malphite to help us out. <laughs> um, well, let's see if we can push some objectives. Uh, we do have one of those guys down, and uh, Poppy is defending, so I feel like we can push this just a little bit more. I don't think we'll be able to get the full turret down, but uh, a guy can hope. Let's see, I can get some damage onto him. As you guys see, she's also very good at just poking, just because she has this super long range, which is so nice. Like, she's an insanely fun champion to play, like, honestly. She's just, she's just a lot of fun. Uh, and, and there's a lot of practice you can do on it. I know there are a lot more, like, combos and uh, cancel animations, so if you're really into that, then there are some death to Syndra. Uh, but the most common one is just, uh, is, is actually just canceling your, or making your W's uh, fire off for, uh, uh, faster. I think that's what you say. Okay, so what are we playing against? I think for this, just because we're one player low, I think I might just go for an hourglass. I, th I feel like I need this because if I get bursted by something, a trend that goes in hard for me, then then I need something to keep me alive or at least give me a second to breathe and maybe recharge my cooldown on my E. Um, so I think that's what we're going to go for. We could really need this, actually. This Rift Herald will be nice. Uh, but I'm going to start moving up here, see if I can help out my team, because uh, I'm not going to be able to solo carry this all by myself. Okay, so I took some damage there. Alright, there's so a lot of damage coming in here. I'm going to take that blue. 
hoping that uh All right, let's get that one and uh, let's think here. I'm c I can go top. That objective is getting pushed, but also mid is getting pushed and my mid turret is also super low. So I think I'm going to go in here just to hold it back. They're already two up here. Uh, and I don't want this turret to die. So I might just take this and then run directly up top. And here's the thing. We're one man low. So I like taking fights is really bad for us, to be honest. Uh, we need just need to pick people up as, as much as we can. Let's see if we can uh, get some of this and maybe push if they're... Oops, I actually took the wrong spell. We should have ma taken W right there. That was a, a, a misclick. Alright, so they took the drag, but we couldn't really contest it. Because uh, Echo is base. And oh, he tracks his top and Jin is AFK, so... Not really too much we could do right there. I need to be careful because Nautilus is right there. So I actually have to move back around instead just to be safe. Uh, as he's in there. I'm gonna start getting this up nice. And we can combo that with... Uh, and right here, let's see if we can get the W in. That's gonna slow him. And I'm gonna be able to finish, but that's not gonna be worth it because I'm actually gonna die right here. I did not expect that guy to be that close. Uh, so that was not fully worth it, but at least, at least I, th I feel like we kind of like, it kind of equaled out, I guess, <laughs> in a sense. All right, so we got to think here. Um, what can we do to actually win this except keeping pressure? Uh, how's my team doing overall? So everybody is doing pretty decently, not great, but hey, we're doing okay. Um, and what are war or win conditions? Like our only win condition, I think, Either it's a split push Aatrox, which I think is unlikely because he's going to be matched up against Trendemir. Or it's going to be f actually picking them off and pushing. That's kind of or or win object or, or win condition. So I feel like what I just need to do is I we need to try and continue the pace we had here and just play around uh, picking people up and then seeing if we can get a push in here and there. Uh, this is going to be very, very difficult seeing as we're playing 4v5. I am not gonna lie. That makes the game a lot harder. Um, and we might actually have to go something like a Crystal Scepter just because we need something to slow. Uh, I think, maybe. But then again, uh, nah, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. I think we'll be fine without, actually. But Crystal Scepter is pretty fun sometimes. It's uh, But it's, it's not an item that I would rush always on Syndra just because it's more of a a situational item where you're like, I can't really depend on my team and I have to kite a lot. And this might be that type of game, but uh, we'll see if we can do with the standard build instead. Because I'd much rather show you guys the standard build you want to go for, and then you can go for these situational items. It is it is much more standard going for, uh, for something like this. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Alright, so I really need to be careful not getting caught out. I might be able... Oh, that was a close one. I'm gonna be able to get that guy down. I wouldn't mind a little bit of help there, but... Uh, fair enough, I'm gonna back out just because I didn't know what's in this jungle. Terrible shot by me. I'm g I can get some good damage in here. Gonna back out while Nautilus all hits me, and I can't could actually also use my stopwatch there, but did not need it. Uh, and I'm gonna move into mid lane because that one's getting pushed, and we're actually picking them up pretty well. Uh, our biggest issue at this point is just whoop the fact that we're one man low. It really, really sucks that that guy left because. I feel like this would have been a fairly easy win. So we got our W max now, meaning that we have the 20% extra bonus, um, what's it called, uh, true damage, which is insane. So let's go for that one, and I think we're going to go into like a Rabadan's death cap now. Uh, we need a thing is, that control is still, I can't believe that one's still there. Uh, but death cap is definitely going to be our next item. Feel like that's what we need and if they start building some uh some magic resist we'll build into i think something like a uh, a void staff 
afterwards. Uh, but let's go up and take the blue buff, because that one's really going to be useful for us. Give us a little bit of that cooldown reduction and uh, sustained mana. Okay, it's spawning in a moment right there. But they're fighting up here. Is there anything I can do? Should I, should I rush? I'm going to rush up here. I'm going to rush. Hopefully, I'll be able to get there in time. Let's run to me. I'm going to try and ping it for him. Oh, it's gonna be that guy, and uh, I don't know if I don't know how strong this is. I'm gonna slow him just so he can run away. I'm gonna ignite, and we're gonna be able to just oh wow, yeah, he's still gonna be dead. All right, I kind of failed it, but overall, still fine. So we're 10 to 1, which is not bad. Whoop, but that's the thing with Syndra, like right now, you can see we're just playing one man. Uh, there we're one man out, so four versus five is pretty difficult. And even though I'm 10 to 1, then hard carrying on this champion is actually really, really hard. Uh, just for the sole purpose or sort of like, cause, or not purpose, but like based on the fact that we can't really push by ourselves, uh, we are very much based on uh, trying to play around our team. Uh, we can kite people and we really play to the advantage of almost any team comp. You can really do well with this one. It works with glass cannons. Uh, it works with split push just because you can harass it to long ranges. You can keep people occupied. You have insane wave flare, etc. Like overall, you can just do so much stuff with this champion. Um, but it really does come down. Ooh. Okay. Gonna back out of this because we don't really need it. Gonna go ward there just to. S okay. I'm gonna see if I can catch someone out. I'm um, kind of afraid the Poppy is gonna rush in. Yep. And that is gonna be a kill over there. I'm gonna flash over the edge so that uh, Sarath can't hit me with his stun. Uh, but yeah, we're doing very fine. We're doing absolutely what we need to do. And that is going to be that one. We're going to be able to stun Nautilus here. See if we can get something. We can slow him. If we can get that. Oh, he just jumped away. I might be able to catch up and throw in my stun. I think we will right here. That is going to be him as well. So I think if we go right now for the, uh, the Baron, that is definitely going to be able to help us out. We are 12 to 1, and that's what I mean. Like, this champion is insanely strong. If I just, like, imagine if we played 5v5 here, we had our ADC, and we could actually play the game uh, as a full team, and, uh, like, we would not be sitting in this situation. This would be so much easier. Because uh, we will be able to push some objectives much faster and much easier uh, every time that we actually punish them. So, yeah, this is... I, I hope that even though that uh, this is going to be a really hard game uh, to win, that it kind of shows you just the potential of this champion, even playing from a deficit. Like, there we go. We got them all. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's back out. Maybe even take this... Grump on the way. If I can. Whoop. Get that extra goal in there. But this is just one of those games. It's it's hard to do anything about somebody going AFK at level 5. Uh, and he actually got level 6 from standing in base. So, yeah. That's interesting. So let's sell off this one, and uh, that way we'll be able to get more of our death cap. I'm probably going to start seeing people build some magic resist soon. Yeah, I see somebody, uh, Poppy's already starting it now. Uh, so I will be going Void Staff, because I expect more of them to, to do so. Because they're having a too hard time closing this game, even though they are outnumbering us. Um, so, so they're going to try and do something to me, because I'm honestly the biggest threat to them. Uh, that's 100% sure. So let's pick up this one just so we have it ready for a second here. All right. Um, let's have a look. So the Baron buff is actually going to be able to help us out, but still, even with Baron buff, this will be very, very hard. Um, and it, that's kind of the fun thing. We've gotten almost all of the uh, the map objectives of, with the exception of turrets. We've gotten all the drakes. Uh, and oh, whoop. Okay, I think there's a good chance they're actually rushing down to us here. Nope, okay, they're taking base. Alright, we're gonna get our death cap. That's gonna be a huge, huge buff for us. And 
just while on the topic, uh, a lot of people ask me when Syndra power spikes, and she actually power spikes very early, even at level 3, she's very, very strong. Oh, I won't be able to get that one. Let's pick this up, see if we can catch something over here. Um, but also, she has a huge power spike as each of her, her, her abilities, especially as her Q and her W gets max level. Because that's when you get the 15% extra damage on your Saphirs, and it's what you get when you get the 20% extra true damage uh, on your uh, Force of Will. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Force of Will. I almost always forget that spell. It's because I feel like it's, it's a... It's a strange name for it. All right, let's get this down. And let's think. So next Drake's coming up soon. That's going to enable us to get this one. We really want that Drake. We need a Drake. Because um, that Drake is going to give us the last one, which is going to give us this Ocean Dragon Soul buff, which is going to be really, really sweet for us. Uh, so I feel like that is the choice to go for. Uh, such that we can get the, the buff. So I'm kind of waiting for my team to move down here. In the meantime, I should probably clean this. Alright, that's a mission. And I'm just waiting for my team to slowly move their way here. Drake is spawning in 15 seconds. So taking a fight for this Drake will be, uh, will be good for us. Okay, so he just cleaned my ward. Meaning that they, I think they have a control ward, right? Yep, they have a control ward. Uh, so that's going to be a little difficult. I'm going to let Malphite run in first here. Okay, so we have some vision there. I'm going to start stacking up some of my stuff. And I'm going to be able to get a stun in there. Let's old Aphilius probably as he spawns, just so he doesn't kill us. There we go. Uh, then we have Trendomir. We need to do something about He's in that. Oh, wow, really? Is he not? Okay, so we actually got the Ocean Drake, which is really, really nice. That's a huge buff for us. Uh, and we still killed two people. So 13 to 1. We're doing very well. And let's see what we can do here. Let's just see if we can push. Okay, we have Trenomir coming up here. And Trenomir is actually one of the targets that I'm slightly scared of just because of his ult. Uh, I do believe that I can kill him. Um... But a misplay by me or a missed skill shot can be absolutely devastating to me, so I don't really want to go for that. Um, Alright, so let's have a look. Maybe, I, I'm not sure, I didn't notice, but maybe their Nautilus went AFK as well. He might have. If he went AFK from tilting, uh, then we might actually just win this game just for that fact. Because, uh, and that's what I'm saying, like, never give up. It's, even though it's unlikely, I know we've been doing a, a pretty decent job here. We've definitely been keeping us in the game. Um, all right, I'm going to make sure I get in here. All right, I'm going to be able to get that guy down. That's what I mean, like, the I'm gonna burst you can just fire off with this guy is so much fun. It is really, really fun. Let me get in there, get that blue buff. Uh, and we have a new ward in 7 seconds that we can put up in here as well. And I think we might actually just turn this around. I think, I think he went AFK, right? Okay, no, he didn't. Okay, he we killed him. Wow. Okay, so he didn't even go AFK. They just won't report him. That's great. So we're 14 to 1, doing a really, really good job. And uh, let's just keep this pressure going. Uh, the issue for us right now is that we have to close the game fairly soon. And the reason for this is that they are five players. And right now I have a huge gold lead, which is really nice. Don't get me wrong, that's really nice. But as we come further and further into the game, as we hit this 30-minute mark, um, then... Oh. And this is what I fear. As we hit this 30 minute mark, then there is a good chance that they're gonna start winning just because they're the gold, gold uh, gap between the two teams are gonna get lower. And that's why you never wanna give up, because the gold gap between your team, like if the enemy team is bad at closing a game, like winning, the, winning it and getting the objectives, so then it doesn't matter if they have like 100 kills and you have zero. Once you start hitting the 30 to 40 minute mark, then the gold difference is gonna start uh, decreasing and meaning that all of you guys are gonna be more, get more and more powerful while they have hit a plateau where they won't ever get stronger because they have all the items they already need. All right, let's have a look. So they're really starting to build some magic resist now, which is uh, understandable. I think I'm actually gonna get an elixir because I just want to see if I can, uh, I can get this, uh, this like exploit the fact that we're uh, getting slowly ahead. 
Um, we need to look for that Baron now. That's very, very important. Or at least we need to look for that they don't get it. Uh, so that's very crucial for us. So let's start moving up there. I'm just going to stay behind my Malphite and do my very best to stay safe. Because uh, right now... I feel like I'm the win condition uh, for whether or not, not this succeeds. Um, let's see if I can save him. I won't be able to. I'm just gonna do whatever I can to help out my team. Uh, we gotta be careful. Still gotta be careful here. Uh, let's get the Baron and then move in mid. There we go. So next up, we can just push in the uh, mid and hip. That's definitely what we should be going for as our next thing. I see that. Uh, oh, 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 Echo. He is super close to dying. Anyway, nice, nice, nice. We're doing pretty well now. We got the Baron buff, and now we want to start looking for these inhibitors. Uh, that's going to be the next one. But playing this 4v5 uh, does really give us a huge disadvantage. And I'm very surprised. Um, that we might actually be able to pull this off like yes we're very strong but yeah one one guy down if we don't get close this game within the next 10 minutes i'm pretty sure that it'll be hard to uh hard to win just because they're gonna have more overall gold than we are and i'm i almost i almost have max items now next pack i can i'm gonna get voice staff and i'm gonna have max items uh question is whether or not it'd be worth for me to go back now probably won't uh oh whoa, 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 whoa i was actually out of position there if not went for me there that could have been devastating for our team all right so i'm just gonna wait for my team we have to play these this uh whoop this 4v5 and just hope for the best um so my primary objective right here I'm actually just gonna try and play the ADC, uh, I'm, which means that I'm gonna try and just go for anything that is closest to me, as long as I'm safe. That is gonna be oh, whoop. Echo went back, meaning that we can't fight. Uh, I'm gonna go over and take blue buff actually, and then I'm gonna back. I think. Actually, I'm just gonna back right here, and then I'm gonna take blue buff. Next Drake is coming up, which is an Elder Drake. That's very useful for us. Let's get that Void Staff, get the blue buff, and then oh, Elder Drake actually first. Never mind. I'm not gonna be able to take blue. And this is really bad, because they're actually fighting without us. I'm hoping that they can, uh, can come out of this. I don't think they will. Fighting 2v5 is uh, is not ideal. Now we won't actually be able to uh, contest this. If if we do, it's going to be super risky. Um, I'm going to just try and occupy them a little bit. Yeah, I won't be able to do anything. I'm not even going to try. With a bit of luck, I can do some damage here. See if I can help out. Yep. All right. Nice, nice, nice. We actually got a target down. Seems like we got pressure as well. And right there, we're going to get another one. Because we are super fed. And we actually got the Drake as well. This is very surprising to me. And we got double. So right here, let's rush up to their base. See if we can do something. Let that Aphelios push because I don't really care. Um, yeah, let's make sure we go up here and... It Exploit the fact that we have them down for another like 50 seconds. Just gonna kill that one on the way um, So let's make sure that we just go up here. We, we are gonna get a, an inhibitor down and maybe with a bit of luck uh, We can finish the game. We'll try. We'll try uh, it, is, it will be slightly risky Oh god, I won't be able to get that guy All right, so Right now we have the buff from Elder Drake, which is really going to help us in in the, in terms of getting them down. So let's just try and play, get some Sephiroth up and running. I'm just going to throw them out there, clear minions. Also, to whenever I have to ult, then it's something we could do a flash play onto Aphilius if we need it. But I kind of want to save my flash. Oh, yep, that's what I wanted to save my flash for. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna hold my team actually close this off. I didn't even get my old off, and I think they might. I think this might be it. I think we might have 4v5. I really flopped the last fight. 
Uh, I was trying to hold on for my onto my ult for a moment. I didn't use my hourglass. I also needed to do that. Could have done that at the very end there, but I flopped it. Um, that's completely my fault, but my team seems to have picked it up. So I am hoping that they'll be able to finish this game off just now. Um, they have 30 seconds to do this. Oh, getting that one down is absolutely crucial. Now we can actually finish the game. They have 20 seconds more. Oh my god. I don't know if they can do it in time. Uh, honestly, it's gonna be very close. 15 seconds till those guys respawn. This is gonna be so freaking close. They don't just don't... If I was alive here, we could push this so much faster. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get it. I think getting the inhib might be the right choice here. Uh, we need that one with us. Did I, did I buy it? No, Elixir. There we go. Alright, so we got that down. I'm gonna rush up there and just hope... Maybe I should take the blue buff on the way. So my team actually managed to pull that off despite me flopping my hourglass and not using my ult. Um, but I was trying to save my ult for what I considered the primary target, which is uh, Sarath. I feel like he's the biggest threat right now. Uh, Sarath and... Whoop. And also, Aphilius, we are so far into the game that even though his score is pretty bad, you can see his items are starting to stack up. So we do need to be a little bit careful. Um, but yeah, let's start going up here with our team. I feel like we should be able to close this now. I'm pretty stacked up on items. We're 18 to 2 with 10 assists. So this is in no way a bad score. Um, but at the end of the day, remember guys, it's not about KDA. Uh, of course, it's always nice to have a good kill death ratio. It makes you feel good. But right here, what really matters is just uh, going for the actual uh, objectives. And we're gonna try and see if we can push in here while Tronomir's back. And I'm gonna... Whoop. This might be really... Ooh. I'm gonna get that guy down, at least. Let's see if I can dodge this. Oh. No! I was just about to hourglass. Oh my god, so freaking close. Alright, kind of a risky one. We need to group now and see if we can just take the last of him. Otherwise, we should go get the... We could get Baron, actually, as our next thing. I feel like this is going to be pretty rough for them. They might be able to pull it off. Uh, so, Aatrox got that one down. If you can get... Ooh! Aatrox, what up, man? He is clutching it right now. That's really nice. But yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty well, and he's absolutely just gonna ignore the Seraph and be like, Hey, yo, yo man, I'm gonna finish this game. Oh my god, I cannot believe we actually pulled this off. Uh, that was really, really good. I hope this kind of gave you an idea of how to play Syntra and uh, and just how, how devastating she can be. Uh, we actually managed to pull off a 4v5 game, so that was very unexpected. I actually personally thought we were gonna lose, but I kept trying, and this just comes to show that at the end of the day, if you keep trying, then there might be a chance, and even at one point, I thought their Nautilus went AFK, um, and of course, this is, isn't at the highest rating, this is like mid-gold to still early plat, uh, so, so it's not like people are absolutely insane at the game, uh, but they're not super terrible, so if you're brand new and want to pick up Syndra and got kind of inspired, or learned something, or uh, just think she looks like a fun champion, then go for it, she is a lot of fun to play and she has so much potential like I'm in no way a pro player uh, but it just comes to show from a game like this like how much you can do with her uh, and I hope I hope you guys really enjoyed it I hope you learned something uh, and uh, yeah uh, that is actually gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it and uh, really like to see some uh, 4v5s because <laughs> I totally expected it um, so yeah if, if you really was excited to see this 4v5 match and actually was kind of surprised that we ended off pulling it off, then make sure you smash that like button for me, guys. It really helps me get this video out to as many people as possible. And also, if you're not already, then make sure to smash the subscribe button underneath and join our community. It really means the world to me. It shows me your support and it ensures that you guys uh, get my content as I release new ones. And it shows me that, uh, that you guys want to see more of this. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.